My name is Lisa Bowler, and my husband and I have been attending Encounter for a little over three years, and I am the founder of Harvest House. We provide extensive services uh, for child sex trafficking victims. Um, they are usually recovered by law enforcement, and we are dispatched um, within an hour to be on site wherever that child is, and we uh, provide services up until they're 20 second year of age. Back in 2007, um, I was at a missions banquet, and during that banquet, I had an encounter with the Lord. A gentleman got up and started speaking about child sex trafficking overseas. In this moment, it was as if everyone disappeared in the room, and all I could hear was this man's voice on the stage talking about human trafficking. But all of a sudden, I heard all the chairs being pushed in, and the event was over. And well, this guy makes a beeline for me. He says, my name is Stephen, and I got in my car to, tonight to come, come to this event, and God is telling me to give you this money that He wants you to start a ministry. So He hands me the money. Everything, Everyone goes through these, is it real? Did that really happen? Do I really believe what just was spoken to me? Um, and we doubt ourselves, and we doubt the voice of God sometimes, and in that dream that He's given us, not understanding it fully at the time. And so after a week of research, I said, God, you have got the wrong girl for this. And I put that money as far back in my drawer. Over the next 12 months, literally went through a wrestling period with the Lord. I finally just said yes. I gave him my yes. And I said, I will do this with you, Lord, but I will not do it without you. And now we're at a point where we're working with the governor's office and we're in a coordinated team in our community where we work with the DA's office, with the police department, the sheriff's department, juvenile justice system. I mean, we all have, are all partners in services. So another dream that we have is to provide a safe place for girls to come immediately after they are recovered. This house that we have was donated to us and it was really rough and it is in a huge amount of renovation at the moment. Um, but we need to replace everything in there and be able to provide uh, bedrooms and a living room and a computer room for the girls to go to school because when they're with us, they're gonna need schooling. So if you have a dream and you feel like it's unattainable or if it's too big, or even if you're just scared to take that step, um, when the Lord has something for you to do. He has created you in your mother's womb. He has formed you to do the specific thing in your life. And for you to do that just means that you're giving God your yes and you're saying, you know, I'm not in control of how it's going to look in the future, but I'm going to say, um, God, you take over. And like I said before, like, like just believing and trusting God that He's got you He's going to give you everything that you need to do what He's called you to do. Um, there is no doubt with Him. The thing that He's calling us to do is, is so amazing that it's not you who has to make it happen. It's Him who has to make it happen. When I was trying to strive to push to make something happen, it never worked. Um, but when I sat back and I said, God, you go fight my battles, you open these doors, he gave this cause to me. Is he not going to be the one to make it all fall into place? Of course he is. My name is Lisa Bowler and this is my encounter story.